We have indeed. We've got some company that's joining us. So they heard Sunday night chill, Sunday fun day. And so not only do we have Hosanna chilling with us and Ferg and Batcam and, well, Bat graphics on the back of my jersey, but we've now also got a bush catydid that has come and joined us. And you can see it looks just like a leaf. Now, unfortunately, in the IR, so the color you won't see, but it is green just like a leaf. And the shape of that body is perfect. If you put this catydid onto a tree, it would be near impossible to be able to work out where it was and what it is. And the only thing that gives it away on a tree is generally those long legs and the long antenna. Can you see how long those antenna are? Now, you can imagine how sensory those antenna must be. And this is an animal that often comes out at night. And a lot of the catydids are predatory, so they'll be catching insects and varying other things. And with that long antenna, they're able to then sort of feel out in the dark and pick up any signs of food items and then grab them. So those are packed full of sensory cells and you can see how it just flitters in the breeze. And if something came close, so this antenna would move slightly and be able to detect what's going on. So very cool to see. And it just goes to show you, there is always something around you. Even when you're sitting and you're sitting with the leopard, it pays just to look around because I wouldn't have noticed him if it actually wasn't for the other guy's light that is just coming slowly off on the side and just highlighted our little catty did for us. But isn't that cool? Imagine having an antenna that long. It must be quite something to be able to deal with. I'm sure Ellie will know with her hair is so long that it's almost like having an antenna that length. So she'll know what that's like. But Hosanna is sleeping. He's taking it very easy at this stage. He's not really too fussed by our catty did friend. In fact, he's been quite accommodating so far. And you can see it's just now time to start resting. I wonder if the, the spotlight gives off a bit of warmth that these cats enjoy in these winter months and are able to actually appreciate. I certainly wouldn't mind a spotlight on me. Like I said earlier, I left my jersey behind. And so I've got a sleeveless jersey that I've got on now, which I had to cover up some logos on. And so we decided we would see who's got the better bat figure. So we decided to draw bat figures. And so this is my jersey with the bat figures on it. Now, Ferg's going to show you. Ferg went very artistic with the bottom bat figure. I added some wings and a smile because I wanted a happy bat because I had a leopard. So there's my bat on top, Ferg's bat on the back, blah, 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 bat on the bottom. <laughs> I can't even get it out, Ferg. Your artistic impressions are so good that it's just baffling me. It's making me speechless. In fact, I think you've wasted your calling as a cameraman and maybe it's time for some art. But there we go. We've decided to add to the bat cam. Now, bat cam has got friends, so there we all are. <laughs> Sorry, am I moving too much, man? No, I'm struggling in the dark to see where my map is. So, Ferg says he's struggling in the dark. Well, Ferg, you need to be like Batman and get some... Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. And get some bat eyes to be able to see. So, I've got the little sort of ears. I've got wings. I've got a smiley face. And Ferg, well, he's gone for the mysterious arty... You've even got like a little side comb there for our Batman. Yeah, it looks like he's 